Prince William and Kate Middleton depart the Bahamas tonight to return to the UK in time for a Mother's Day reunion with Prince George, Princess Charlotte and Prince Louis. For their final day in the Bahamas on Saturday, the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge travelled to Abaco's main island and visited a fish fry aquint essentially Bahamian culinary gathering place that is found on every island in the Bahamas. During the outing, William and Kate met vendors who prepared a taste of Bahamian cuisine, including a local favorite conch salad. Sampling local delights, the Duchess of Cambridge did not balk when she swallowed a strip of flesh from the inside of the conch, believed to be the conch's male genitalia. She then claimed the Duchess said, I'm a little bit more adventurous than William is. The Duchess of Cambridge even stepped behind the counter to make conch salad herself as Jade Idley. A vendor at the fish fry in Dundas town, Abaco, looked on. I'm not as fast as you, Kate told him. From the start of the tour Kate has joined in the activities with good humor and grace, lovely with children, genuinely warm person. The Duke and Duchess shook hands with well-wishers and spoke to people about the effects of the hurricane. Prince William engaged with several locals including a little girl whose hand he held as she stood next to a seated elderly lady. William and Kate pride themselves on their ability to be in touch with the people and use their platform to effect change. Kate and William posed and smiled with countless locals for photos, including a number of small children. They also met Stephen Gardner, a Bahamian 400 meters Olympic champion. The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge visited Coral Restoration Farm Coral Vita on Grand Bahama at the site of an Earthshot Prize winner in the final engagement of the Royal Caribbean Tour. The organization won the Revive Our Oceans category at Prince William's Earthshot Prize Awards last year in recognition of their groundbreaking work to give new life to dying coral reefs. Prince William and Kate Middleton have had a bumpier than expected trip through former British colonies in the Caribbean, which is stops in Belize, Jamaica and the Bahamas. Although they have received warm welcomes from many locals during their visits to Belize, Jamaica and the Bahamas. They are also encountering mounting tensions in the Caribbean nations where William's grandmother, Queen Elizabeth, remains head of state. The royals face some issues during their trip to Belize, when protesters caused them to cancel a chocolate farm trip. The day before they arrived in Jamaica, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex were hit with an open letter signed by 100 prominent Jamaicans decrying the visit and demanding reparations for 300 years of colonial rule where Britain forced African slaves and indigenous Jamaicans to work in horrific conditions. On March 23, two days after the letter was released, Prince William said in a public address with Jamaica's Prime Minister, slavery was abhorrent and it never should have happened. I strongly agree with my father the Prince of Wales, who said in Barbados last year that the appalling atrocity of slavery forever stains our history. The advocates group quickly hit back at this statement as unsatisfactory, saying, there was no responsibility taken. No call out of centuries of British bloody conquest and plunder. The rising tide of social and economic justice movements including calls for slavery reparations and indigenous rights expansion are rapidly reshaping contemporary views of the monarchy at a time when it is in transition. As Elizabeth marks 70 years on the throne, William and Kate are increasingly the modern face of both the family and the institution. In the aftermath of the Harry and Meghan fiasco, and the Prince Andrew saga, Price William and Kate have steadied the royal ship. Royal biographer Robert Jobson says that the prince has voiced his disgust over the slave trade in the past, but that the UK government has not approved a full-blown apology to affected countries. The royal writer whose new book, William at 40, The Making of a Modern Monarch, is out in May heaped further praise on the prince for making a last-minute change to his speech that addressed some of the controversies. In a powerful speech given at a dinner hosted by the Governor-General Sir Cornelius Smith, Prince William said, Next year, I know you are all looking forward to celebrating 50 years of independence your golden anniversary. And with Jamaica celebrating 60 years of independence this year, and Belize celebrating 40 years of independence last year, I want to say this, we support with pride and respect your decisions about your future. Relationships evolve. Friendship endures. Now, Rather than bury their heads in the sand over uncomfortable comparisons with our colonial past, 
the future king's extraordinary statement on the future of the Commonwealth is perhaps finally a sign the royals have woken up to the fact we are in very different times. With this unprecedented statement, William and Kate have done more to safeguard their future than ever before. The Duke's comments fall in line with typical responses from Buckingham Palace when it's asked about various Commonwealth countries' talks on whether to remove Queen Elizabeth as head of state and become a republic. The palace says it is a matter for the people of a given country to decide. A series of Puerto Rico blunders may have further hurt the royal image abroad after the pair were pictured shaking hands with children through a metal fence and William was snapped wearing full military garb as they rode around in an open-top Land Rover. But Mr. Jobson said the couple haven't put a foot wrong and had tiptoed through this diplomatic minefield with grace. The biographer said the fence incident in Trench Town, Jamaica was grossly misrepresented. He went on. There was a fence around a football pitch and hundreds of youngsters wanting to meet the players, including Raheem Sterling, as well as the Royals. They all went over to say hello and shake hands. If they hadn't, they could have been accused of snubbing them. Thank you for watching. If you liked, feel free to leave a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon to get new video updates. We will update the latest videos about the royal family every day. Thanks and goodbye.